Hi everyone, I'm Clem and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the International Booktuber tag. So this tag was created by Daniela in Prague, so I'm going to link her channel in the description box. But I'm also going to link uh, Elia, I'm sorry for your name, I don't know how really how to say it, but the one who has the channel called uh, My Bookish Babbles because I just saw this video on her channel and I loved it. So basically it's a tag for the international booktubers which is what I am. So let's get right into it. So the first question is where are you from and what is your native language or languages? So I'm from France, if you don't know already, and more specifically, I live very near Paris, like 15 minutes by car. It's really, really close, like I can see the Eiffel Tower sometimes from my town. And my native language is French, uh, obviously, uh, and yeah, I love it, and I love being French, like... I don't know, like I love that uh, French is my native language because it's a freaking horrible to learn French when you're not native because it's so complex and everything so I'm so happy that I can speak French properly or at least most of the time. Second question is in what language do you read books? So most of my books and when I say most is might be 95 or 90 percent of my books I read them in English because before I used to read in French obviously because I was younger but at some point with my friend we got tired of waiting uh, for books to be translated in France and we realized that actually there were a lot of books like English books that were never going to be published so we started reading in English and I have always had a good English like I had good grades in English and I always loved that so reading in English was something I would have ended up doing so now I read most of my books in English and I buy most of my book in English but sometimes uh, my family buy me books in French so I read them in French and it's always nice to go back to my language and to read it in French like it's it's nice. Uh, question three is there booktube in your native language and if so what is the community like? So, I know there is a French booktube and I've watched some of it because when I first thought about doing a booktube channel the real question was am I going to do that in French or am I going to do that in English? Because like in French I can be myself, I don't have to stumble to find books, uh, to find a word just like now and I could basically say everything I want in my native language because it's my native language and I know everything about it, like mainly. Um, but then I thought um, that I didn't want to do that in French and uh, there are some very important French booktuber, like they're invite in invited to some events and everything and they're pretty huge. Um, but yeah, uh, I think the community is nice. I feel like that one of my friends is actually following the French booktubers and I think she's enjoying it. So I think very nice and yeah, but I don't watch that a lot. Question four is, if there is a booktube community in your native language, why did you decide to join the international one? Um, so one of the reasons was because I was reading English book, I thought it wouldn't be interesting for French reader to hear me talking about books that eventually were never going to be translated or in a long time, so maybe they didn't like care or wouldn't care about what I was telling because like what is it really interesting to hear and watch someone talking about books you're never going to read like at some point I think yes, but when it's all the time, I'm not sure, so that's why I decided to do it in English because it was like more obvious for me to do that in English and also because I like speaking English, I want to be an English teacher, so it was also a way for me to improve and also to reach a larger audience and to meet amazing people and I don't know, to be part of this very very huge community that is the English booktube and I'm really glad I did it because I love doing that and even though my English often sucks on camera I'm really happy to do that in English because I love speaking English and I don't know maybe it's the camera that stresses me that stresses me out but I don't know that's why I decided to do it so obvious choice for the books, a uh, larger community and to improve my English and to actually speak English. Question 5 is, are there any struggles or challenges for you as a non-native English speaker? 
of course there are. Like for me, there, are, there will always be challenges uh, when you speak a language that is not yours. And for me, it's as I say, like sometimes I'm not very fluent or very eloquent. Like I feel like my sentences are all the same. Like I always use the adjective amazing all the time because I can't think of any other thing. So I feel like in order for my speech to be more more eloquent and for me to really go in depth and not just saying on like not really saying something really interesting I would have to write what I want to say before because I would have to think because most of the time when I like in front of a camera like I forget a lot of things even though I'm good at English really I swear I'm really good at English and also another thing that uh, is a struggle for me is that I make mistakes and for me I feel like the native people or even the non-native are going to only hear that. So sometimes when I'm editing and I forgot an S at the end of a word, of a word, I feel like it's going to be the end of the world. See what I did? Anyway, um, so this is really something that uh, makes me feel like my videos and what I'm doing isn't enough or isn't good enough and it makes me really sad sometimes because I can't refilm it and I feel like really dumb and also not being a native speaker is also I feel like preventing me from really connecting to people because I don't know if it's me like maybe I don't dare talk to people because I feel like I'm not going to be able to have a conversation with them that's going to be interesting and that we are going to like that's going to be long and I know I can because I speak English as I just told you and I'm going to be an English teacher so I really can. I spent a year abroad. It's in my capacities to speak English with people but I don't know why I'm just so afraid and I have no confidence in my English so this is really a struggle. Uh, the question six is how do you get a hold of English books? Uh, for me it's mainly on the internet, on Book Depository, Wordly or sometimes Amazon, Amazon uh, because it's where I usually get book, like normally. Um, sometimes I go to the two or three uh, bookstores, uh, English bookstore there is in Paris, so Shakespeare and Company, uh, but also there, are, there is a WH Miss but I never went there, but those sort of stuff and yeah either it's internet like and I wish I wish there were like um, a Barnes and Noble bookstore in England or in Paris at, because I also get my English books when I go travel so when I go to the United States I have a luggage just only for the books I'm going to bring back because I love going to Barnes and Noble and to buy those wonderful edition like and also when I'm going to England I'm going to Waterstone and I love that so this is where I get hold of my English books. Uh, the seventh question is what is the best thing about being part of the international community and all the people who does this tag answer this question in their native language. So I'm going to speak French and I'm going to not speak that fast because when I speak French I speak really fast and I'm going to try to put subtitle but it's going to be really weird to speak French while doing a booktube video because I never do that. So here I go. Le fait de rejoindre uh, booktube internationally, uh, donc booktube à l'international, ça a vraiment été pour moi je pense de prendre conscience en moi et en mon anglais parce que euh, de parler devant une caméra c'est quand même quelque chose que, qui est pas facile à faire et encore plus en anglais surtout quand on est française et de, de, de publier ça sur internet et sur youtube c'est vraiment un challenge en quelque sorte donc ça a été vraiment pour moi aussi euh, de, bah, de prendre confiance en moi et en mon anglais même si c'est pas encore gagné et, euh, et en fait aussi j'ai découvert tellement de livres et tellement de gens et tellement de choses que enfin j'en suis extrêmement contente j'ai je commence à me faire des amis et j'en suis mais vraiment super contente. C'est aussi un passe-temps que j'adore, enfin qui me fait, qui me permet de sortir euh, de des cours et de penser à autre chose et d'être complètement sur une autre planète et de rencontrer tellement de gens différents avec des goûts différents. J'ai, enfin, j'ai vraiment appris beaucoup de choses et sur les livres et même sur l'écriture parce que je voudrais écrire des livres un jour. Donc c'est, ça a été vraiment ça en fait, l'ouverture sur le monde et le fait de prendre confiance en moi et en fait de me, de me défier un peu plus à chaque fois avec chaque vidéo, me, me pousser en dehors de ma zone de confort. 
weird how much my voice can, my voice can change when I speak English and when I speak French. It's it's so weird, it's so, so so weird. But yeah, I hope it was like understandable for you what I meant. But yeah. Eighth question: Do you watch other international booktube channels? Shout out a channel that you found recently. So um, I just recently found out that Sophie of a Sophie book, uh, sophisticated book was actually from Argentina and I didn't know that but I knew her from before so I'm going to link her channel down below also Mary from Cinnamon Please that I just love she's just amazing I love her so I'm going to link that down below and also Ilya Ilja Il uh, from uh, my bookish bubbles and that's basically all for this tag because the last question is tag another international booktuber but those I just mentioned are the few I know and I know they're done it or I feel like they know about it so I'm not going to tag them and they're way too much bigger than me and I don't think like they will respond to my tag I'm actually they could actually it's mean it's mean to say that but yeah so yeah guys that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing me speaking French uh, maybe you learn more about me if you didn't know so I hope you liked it and uh, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time bye guys